the Photos app interface has undergone what I would say is a moderate redesign in iOS 18. When Photos is launched, the library view with our latest images in a grid no longer takes up the full display. Below it, we now have collections, starting with recent days. Gone are the library for you albums and search buttons that used to exist at the bottom of the screen. The search button is now here at the top of the screen. To move into library view, we just need to swipe down. Now we can choose from the years, months, or all photos view. The days view that used to be here has been removed in favor of the recent days collection, which we can view again with a swipe up. Continue scrolling to view all of our visible collections. When we get to the bottom, there's a Customize and Reorder button. Tap on this, and we can hide and rearrange our collections. So here on the iPhone, I'm going to keep the Recent Days collection at the top. But I'm going to move the Albums and Media Type collections up to directly under Recent Days. We can uncheck any of these to hide them. I'm going to hide the shared albums and the wallpaper suggestions. Now, directly below my library is Recent Days, then my albums and media types. Head back into the Customize and Reorder panel to unhide any collections, or we can tap Reset to return to the default arrangement. On the iPad, we're able to customize and reorder collections just like on iPhone. But unlike on iPhone, we have access to the Photos sidebar here on iPad. The sidebar already contains all the collections that are available here in the main viewer. That allows us to be more aggressive as far as how many collections we might want to hide here on the iPad. So I'm only going to keep media types, memories, and pinned collections. I'm going to hide everything else. That provides a simplified set of options here in the main viewer. If I want more, I can always just show the sidebar to access what I need. Notice that we're able to modify the pinned collections collection. So it's possible to access several preset collections here without needing to have them fully displayed in the Photos viewer. This is sort of like a home screen widget for Photos within Photos. These changes might take a little bit to get used to, but overall I like the new look and the customization options. Learn much more about using the Photos app for iPhone, iPad, and Mac in our full tutorials available at themacu.com. And check the description for a link to our 3-month, $6 membership.